Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Helicopter transportation helps improve the chances of survival compared with ground transportation for individuals who sustain severe injuries, according to research published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here is some information about physical trauma. It is the leading cause of death and disability among young people around the world. Common causes of trauma include car accidents, burns, drowning or near drownings. Alcohol or drug use is frequently involved in accidents resulting in serious trauma. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore analyzed 2007 to 2009 data collected by the American College of Surgeons National Trauma Data Bank on more than 220,000 individuals aged older than 15 who sustained serious injuries from blunt or penetrating trauma. Of these patients, about 60,000 were transported to a level 1 or a level 2 trauma center by helicopter emergency services and the rest were transported via ground emergency services. Over 12% of those transported by helicopter died, compared to 11% of those transported by ground services. Those transported by helicopter tended to have more serious injuries. After taking into account the difference in injury level, as well as other potentially confounding factors, being transported by helicopter was associated with a 15 to 16% greater chance of survival than being transported by ground services. In real terms, for patients transported to level 1 trauma centers by helicopter, 65 patients would need to be transported this way instead of by ground services to save one life. For patients transported to level 2 trauma centers, the corresponding number is 69. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Adil Hyder, principal investigator of this study, who offered some further insight. And what we found from this uh, analysis of um, uh, hundreds of thousands of patients who were included in the National Trauma Data Bank was that for severely injured patients, and by severely injured I mean somebody who, for example, has at least a broken leg and a punctured lung. So for severely injured patients, it, it, the helicopter is associated with a 16% uh, increased odds of survival. You know, we were able to calculate a thing called number needed to treat from that. And what that really tells you is that um, every 65th time a helicopter takes off with a severely injured patient, that helicopter is really associated with uh, um, uh, saving that person's life. So helicopters are great and they work very well for severely injured patients, but we need to figure out the best way to really identify those severely injured patients um, who really would benefit from the helicopter. So we really need to uh, improve um, our ability to identify the best patients who would really benefit um, uh, from going on uh, the helicopter. Today's research suggests that the expense of helicopter emergency medical services does translate to lives saved. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.